start a recap of this session uh, right now. And as we um, as we analyzed this market, we started from the SP500. We mentioned the fact that this market has reached its second target, as we were anticipating. So this market is uh, is uh, firmly uh, trading in uh, in extensions here, and it reached the first target, profit taking there, profit taking to the second target. Where this market is going, this market is continuing higher, and it's going to continue higher until the sequence holds. So the next level where we're going to see this market participate is going to be possibly, potentially, is going to be 2017, okay, for a continued push higher into again 2056 and 2016. We then had a look at silver. We said in the last few days that silver has to do some catch up work on gold and indeed is doing it. In fact, when we compare this with the chart in gold here, we can see that gold has been of course, moving higher, and this price data here is not correct of this bar, but don't worry about that. That'll be corrected in the in the coming days. But we know what gold is doing, and it keeps moving higher. Uh, but silver, at least today, had um, a stronger level of relative force. Where is it going? Is it going through 1660? Made no mistake about it. It's previous highs. It's going to encounter some resistance there, but that's where it's going to go. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, congrats to all of you who uh, kept the trade. This was exactly 22 days ago, 22 session ago, so exactly one month ago. But here we go, first target, and this market can continue higher as well. It has weekly support, long, there's no reason to short this market. Same situation, opposite situation of uh, the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And um, <laughs> you're very welcome, Todd. I like your uh, line there. I love your honesty. So uh, I mean, I I mean, I I'm, I I'm stopped out as well. I mean, don't, don't think that it's all good, but you know, I think I've, I've showed that the majority of cases, uh, you know, this is uh, this is uh, uh, you know, this is this is bringing this is bringing good gains, and. Um, uh, for anyone who wants to, uh, you know, get the first two, the first two months on one of my uh, accounts, I mean, just write to me. I'm, I'm going to send you the uh, the extract from Pepperstone, and, and you can see that. So, the uh, the um, uh, this market here, we had a continuation lower, and uh, and we knew about it because the market has has uh, had was extended, and we knew already this level here. And that modeled exactly to the PIP, the next continuation lower. In the Zoro Canadian dollar, we're moving to 130 and 128.80. And um, we touched on a number of other uh, markets here, but um, I think we, you know, we touched the main the main points. We didn't have a lot of time to review the euro, and that's my bad. Sorry about this. And let's review the euro. Uh, uh, and the euro, you remember, has been skewed by this uh, ECB decision last week. What we were looking at in the euro was a short. The short worked uh, in the morning of uh, the US session. And then when Dagi came in, he reversed the world situation here. The market came for a test, for a level which is a very, very odd level. And, uh, you know, I had problems uh, identifying this level. In fact, I could only identify this level after the fact. I never traded this long here. Impossible for me, at least impossible in this uh, specific, um, uh, in this specific uh, configuration of price here. And then I realized that for some reason, which I don't know, for some reason, the algorithms have attached themselves to this level here. And don't ask me why, because I don't know. And this is not typical. I mean, we can anticipate very often these levels. I was not able to anticipate this level, so peace. But the good thing is, though, that once we know this level, now we can continue tracking this market. So we know that this was the first target, and this is going to be the second target. And if the market gets to that second target, stay with me. Come here next Sunday, and I'm going to tell you how we can keep playing these markets higher. All right. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you uh, have an idea of um, uh, where some of these markets are going to go. And I also gave you some setup. You can test them and you can, um, the way I test them, it's uh, using the FIPS talking timing technique, which is a procedural technique that uses 
this sequence is on a smaller time frame to basically test whether there is participation from the larger time frame or the smaller time frame uh, keeps uh, keeps actually pushing in the direction of the reaction so um, um, Pound New Zealand dollar, sorry, Miss Shari, won't be time to cover that. I'm always uh, out of my time, but I promise that uh, I'm going to cover that on Sunday, okay? I will prepare it on my chart, and uh, I'm going to cover that on, on, on uh, Sunday. So sorry about that, uh, but I hope you understand. Uh, it's been a tough day and a tough week, and it's not finished, but typically on Friday, Friday is very light for me, but uh, I promise I'm going to cover this on um, on uh, on Sunday. All right. For my student, I'll see you tomorrow morning at the U.S. session. And thanks a lot for being here. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you like my work, just tweet about it. And let's uh, keep this show growing and having um, and having um, uh, you know more uh, questions as well. I'm very uh, always happy to uh, to answer. Uh, it, I I drove this session a little bit more just because I wanted to show some of the things that I didn't show yesterday. Uh, but typically, I get your ideas, as you know very well, I get your ideas. And, um, uh, you know, I want to be useful to you as well in the market that you are currently um, currently trading. It might be different uh, from the market that I'm currently trading. Okay. So, uh, thanks, Mishari. I appreciate your participation. And I want to say uh, hello to Mishari Marco Todd, Dion, IBY, Label Opets, DZ, BW, John, uh, uh, Mauricio, Mark, Jax, Adinda, Fame One, Pan Pankai, Nas, Pantelis, Lee. Hi, Lee. And thank you very much. And have a great weekend. I'm going to see you on Sunday, 7 p.m. And we're going to cover a lot of opportunities for next week, promised. All right. So thanks a lot and uh, see you uh, see you on Sunday. Bye bye now.